Welcome to the next installment of this vlog. I don't know how many parts there are going to be, but there's just so much footage and I'm surprising myself every time. But this is the second last day, I think, of our trip. And every time we've been to Paris, we've never taken photos or proper photos rather. And this time I was like, you know what? I want to take some nice photos. And my husband agreed. We were advised to go early morning and the weather has been quite mild as compared to Canadian fall winter. But this morning was particularly cold. I think it was around six, seven degrees. And there was like a damp, dampness in the air. And all throughout this trip, I would style my hair, like I would curl it or I would like, you know, do my usual routine, but it would just puff up so badly. And I never understood why, but there was just this damp humidity in the air that just made you even more cold. Um, but we tried to do the best we could. So back in bed for a little midday nap and I didn't bring my heating pad and I usually always travel with my heating pad because, you know, I'm an old lady inside and uh, I didn't bring it because I wasn't sure if it was dual voltage. I didn't want to blow my heating pad, although I could have plugged it in on the flight and I really did miss it on the flight. But anyway, um, we're back and it was a wet kind of cold today. Um, I don't know, the temperature was okay, but I don't know, there's just some humidity in the air and it just felt even more cold. So, um, we've improvised using a hair dryer and you just kind of put the warm air into the bedding. Obviously, don't leave it on for a really long time, but uh, <laughs> you don't want to cause any fires. Warm air into your bedding so that you're nice and toasty warm. This is a little hotel tip. <laughs> Look at the lineup. This is for paddock It goes. I, I, I cannot. It goes all the way, all the way to the end. But you know what? Like I think. I remember the first time when we came here. And it was in June, and we came here, there's no line. We went in, it was empty. Like, we, we didn't have to wait. I would never, I would never stand in line like that. No, no way. So, I don't know if this is open, the Dior. The Avenue Montaigne one, that one's actually, uh, I think there's a renovations going on. There's another uh, site they have, that's where they're... They have everything. So it's over there. So my husband was interested in finding some shoes, uh, so he did come in his Birkenstocks, but um, these are the ones that he looked at. And then this pair of sandals, they were intriguing me, but um, I don't know, something about them I was a little bit hesitant on. Once we were finished with Hermes at Jour 5, we wanted to make our way over to the first arrondissement uh, towards Rue Faubourg, and we wanted to check out Montclair. And uh, we were familiar with the location of Montclair there, so my husband wanted to uh, check out the store because in the past it's been less busy and we've always been able to walk in whenever we've uh, visited in the spring, uh, but it was actually quite busy, <laughs> so uh, we were waiting in line. There wasn't much there for women, but my husband wanted to check out their menswear. Since we were in the vicinity, I wanted to check out 19 Cambon uh, for Chanel. And um, this is the window display. Very nice. 
And then over uh, opposite corner, you can see Dior and look at the Christmas decorations. So unfortunately, the flagship uh, 30 Montaigne usually has all that beautiful Christmas display. But because it was undergoing renovations, they didn't have it up at that point. I'm not sure if that's still the case. But of course, at 19 Cambon, there was a lineup. And we were told the wait was an hour in line before we could be helped. So uh, we were allowed to browse though. So I thought, you know what, let's browse and then maybe you'll come back another day and that never really happened. But here we see the uh, 22C cruise collection, the cardigan with all the doves on it. Um, I thought this would be quite cute, but I don't know. I didn't really like the color blocking of the sleeves uh, as compared to the body of the cardigan. Let me know what you think. There were so many of these mini trendy clutches on chain hanging everywhere there's two white ones hanging beside each other i couldn't believe it that they were still up there now it was early in the collection launch so that's probably why but you know the thing in paris is that there isn't a lot of pre-sale i don't think and they also have very large budgets for their stores so they have a lot more stock um but they were just so cute i was tempted I was very tempted, uh, but so beautiful in the white. And uh, over on the right, you see a uh, t-shirt with the doves on it. And I wanted to try this on and I didn't, I just didn't get a chance to. Uh, but then back in Toronto, they were all sold out. Uh, so, so nice to actually see these. This really faint mint green was also kind of nice as well. I mean, not that I need it, but it is a very pretty color. But I looked at the price and I knew that the Canadian price and the Euro price also went up. And that's maybe why it didn't sell as quickly as they usually, because these are flying off the shelf usually, like you don't even see them. But um, I think, yeah, they're, they're more expensive. So they are uh, obviously probably not going to sell like hotcakes like they used to. And here I spotted on the shelf in the flesh the long-awaited reverse hardware 19 bag this is in the smallest size which they call the medium and it's in lambskin so uh, all 19s uh, moving forward are now in lambskin um, they did do them in goatskin for a while but now they're all in lambskin and the difference if with this is where you typically see gold on a 19 which is the turn lock the top handle um, you'll have that aged ruthenium hardware, that aged silver hardware. Uh, and where you would normally see silver, that's where you'll see gold. I actually really did like this when I saw this in person. I thought it looked so edgy and so cool. <laughs> So we just came to Ludi Rivoli and uh, this is by the Jardin de Trilly and uh, this is a place called, we're just going to eat all day, uh, Café de Trilly and 
It looks promising. We're sitting inside, but we have plenty of people watching because it's actually quite cold out. It's like a wet kind of cold, and it gets to you. They do have heaters, which is nice. But I mean, I'm gonna. I, I like the seat that we have, which is good. We've ordered a lot of food because we haven't eaten anything. Um, this is not a Birkin. <laughs> These are shoes that my husband purchased because he's been wearing his uh, Birkenstocks. Um, and he needs shoes, so we got shoes. But yeah, I'll show you what we ordered. The bakery by our hotel has been closed for like two days, so um, we're getting our little uh, car fix here. So I just ordered my second one. And my weakness is um, croissant with uh, butter and jam. I don't eat this when I'm at home. <laughs> Only when I'm traveling. <laughs> Only when I'm in Paris. <laughs> and here we have uh, deep fried <laughs> spring rolls, chicken spring rolls. So we're balancing out the carbs with this salad. This is the chef's salad. Um, and then here we've got avocado toast with bacon. So later on that evening, after we ate and then napped because we were tired, uh, I made my way over to Avenue Montaigne. Uh, 51 Avenue Montaigne, Chanel, uh, because I was told that there was going to be a lot more stock coming in on Friday. There was a little bit of a wait, uh, so I sat and uh, then I, you know, did peek around and looked at stuff. But um, I'm going to share some photos of what I tried on with the sales associate there. Again, another white trendy clutch. And then here we have the white trendy clutch with the light pink for the season. I also got to try it on. Yes, I was very tempted, but I told myself I don't need another one. But they were just nice to see in the flesh, and I thought I'd share it with you. Here we have a metallic silver 19 wallet on chain. I actually thought this looked really nice on. And this is a wallet on chain version of that um, flat bag with that chunky uh, resin handle. Uh, but, you know, you better bet that this is going to be very expensive because of the chain and the handle. I really enjoyed wearing my black sport trail sneakers. They're very comfortable and I wanted to try on the white version. I was interested in looking for a white classic flap and I was told last time I was there that they didn't receive any and no other boutiques received any yet and that they would be expecting more shipment on Friday. And so she did have one in the boutique which was a small and I usually prefer the medium size but uh, she checked all the other boutiques at that time and nobody had a medium and they were the only ones who had a small and perhaps 19 Cambon had a small as well. But this is how the small looks on me crossbody. Uh, I always feel like I dwarf the small. I can wear it crossbody, but um, and there really isn't a, a difference in chain length in my opinion between the small and the medium. But uh, my sales associate said that it looked quite good on me, so I thought I'd share what it looks like on my body. I'm five foot six. She was able to bring out a medium classic flap in the light peachy pink color that came out for this season, which is quite nice, but um, not something that I'm particularly looking for. And this is how a medium looks like on my body. There's also this color that looks kind of like a sage, sage green, I think. Um, they called it a dark green for some reason. I don't know why, but this is how it looks. And this is just a comparison of the length of the medium classic flap versus the small classic flap. I probably could have just tried it on and showed you how it looks on me, but I don't think I was thinking at that point. But this is a pretty significant difference. Here are some other mini bags that I got to spot that were part of this collection. Um, the seasonal bags were quite cute. They have this like sort of hairpin motif. 
And here is some of the decor. They had an event at this location the first day I got here, and these were some of the flowers, and they were just so pretty, so I thought I'd, I'd take advantage of the photo up. And here are some more seasonal bags. So at the top, you have that um, like a wallet style. This is, I think, the larger size. And uh, so it has compartments. It's actually quite nice. And then you have a larger version of that other seasonal bag. This has kind of like a pearl strap to it as well. And then at the bottom here, uh, you've got, um, again, a smaller version of the bag above it. And then you've got some AirPod cases. And then this hobo style bag, which I was intrigued by. And this is how the hobo bag looks on me. It's very casual and relaxed, you know. I think uh, big slouchy bags are definitely coming back. Here is that like a wallet bag. This is the larger size and this is the compartments inside. Fits a phone, uh, at least this size does. And this is the price in euros. And this is how it looks on me on the shoulder. And of course, you can crossbody it. So, you know, if somebody's looking for that sort of vibe, that's great. And then here we have that seasonal bag with the pearl detail. Very pretty. And then this is, I think, the smaller size that I'm trying. And then on the shelf, you can see that you've got the larger and the smaller size next to each other. Here's that bag with that hairpin detail, the mini bag. So cute. Um, I don't know if I was able to catch the price on this one, but... I thought it was really nice. It's white. Um, and then you can also like double up the chain as well, which was really cool. And then the sales associate brought out a very special Pearl Crush Mini in the denim that had just come in. Uh, this is in the square size. And she brought it out and had me try it on. And then I wanted to just think about it. So I asked her if she can put it aside for me. And she said yes. Here is the 19 bag in the medium size in the goat skin. So I was interested in seeing if I could spot a small 19 in the goat skin because I have it in white I was thinking if I could maybe locate it in black but they only had the medium size and I was actually kind of surprised that they still had the the medium uh well we call the small um they don't actually call it the small this is like the the size up from the white one that I have which is what we call the small but it's the medium in Chanel language and this is a larger size than that but anyway, um, this was in goat skin. I was surprised he still had this in because this is from uh, 20K. Um, and so this was on the shelf. It looked like it had seen better days, but they had a brand new one in the back too. So I looked at that one as well. And uh, I just, I, I really liked it. But um, I think for my purposes, I, I like the small size a little bit better for me. So here we have those little hat box vanity bags. Um, I didn't know what the hype was around with these bags. I personally didn't, wasn't interested in them, but I know that they were a hot seller. Uh, and then you also have these little um, mini compact cases. I don't know what you would put in there. Maybe some change, maybe some Tic Tacs, maybe your patience. I don't know. And then over here we have like that um, striped, uh, wallet on chain they also did the classic flap in this the color blocked black and white um and i think it's an interesting uh variation of it of course if somebody wanted the classic flap or the wallet on chain um if you want to kind of like the best of both worlds that's really really neat to have and then we finished off with a little bit of a selfie because this outfit was pretty much my uniform uh all throughout this trip like i you know when you overpack and then you only wear like maybe 10% of what you packed. Um, so these are like those vegan um, leather pants from Aritzia. They're the command pants. Uh, so they kept me warm. And then I have like a Wolford um, bodysuit. And I think this is, yeah, the turtleneck. Again, kept me really warm. And then I have a Wolford silk mask, which was also very comfortable to wear. Kim K Fendi collaboration. Heavy cream. Another 
outfit of the day. I've actually been lazy doing this because I've been so tired. The jet lag has caught up to me. So I've got my command pants from Aritzia. A little bloated because I'm eating a lot of carbs. <laughs> when in Paris. I'm wearing, um, a, I guess, like a turtleneck bodysuit from Wolford. This is really nice. I think it's called... Oh gosh, I'll link what, what it's called. I have my macage, my coat, Hounds Tooth Mini. I've really been enjoying wearing this finally. And then my Chanel Sport Trail sneakers, which are absolutely the most comfortable things ever. Um, I do want to get them in white. They've actually increased the price on these. I can't believe it, but price is higher. Uh, but uh, I'm glad I got them when I did because they're really comfortable. lengthy daytime nap we wanted to get some Ispahan but La Dure is closed and so is Pierre Arme so we just came to this little place here across the street um, great people watching it's Friday night and it's called uh, Le Deauville they've got a lot of items so we'll see how it goes we've got yeah lots of pizza crepes all sorts of things so yeah more, more food, more calories, more carbs, but why not? <laughs> so I'm a mess from this morning because it was like a damp, cold weather and my hair is frizzy and makeup's been done since like 7 a.m. So I'm a bit rusty looking. But no one's actually been checking our health pass. Um, and I find that the mask situation is quite casual here. Like the servers in some restaurants are wearing masks. Um, even like some of the people who are preparing food are wearing masks. And maybe that's just, you know, it's not uh, required here perhaps. But um, yeah, so I, I mean, I'm always asking, do you want to see my health pass? And they're like, yeah, yeah, it's fine. So I don't know. Uh, and also in restaurants, people aren't as distant. Like people are really close together. And it's been a while since we've had that. Like I know we're at full capacity in, in Ontario now, but um, I still get a little bit freaked out and I'm low-key paranoid all the time. Uh, so anytime I'm super tired or I feel a little tickle in my throat, I'm like, oh my god. So uh, I think everything should be fine, but still. Uh, you do need the health pass. Like I think uh, the restaurants at the Ritz were strict about it. But other places have not been checking our health pass, so I don't know, but it's interesting. So yeah, um, so we just ordered some pizza and uh, Nutella banana crepe, and I think that will be it for tonight. And then we'll go to bed and have an early start to tomorrow morning and just make the most of our last day here. So our server actually split the pizza in two. And he's like, then you guys won't fight over it because we all know what happens when we fight over our food. <laughs> it ends up on the floor. So we have a chicken uh, pizza with pesto. Oh my God, this is really good pizza. The pesto and the tomato sauce combined. We also got some uh, fries. This is so good, so good. So we've ordered a Nutella banana crepe. I don't have space, but um, this was overdue. We haven't have any, we haven't had any crepes yet, so. So it is Saturday morning. This is our last full day here in Paris. And then we fly out tomorrow, which is Sunday. And we expect to leave our hotel by 10. But um, this is the day we decided to do our uh, COVID test. Uh, so we have to do a PCR COVID test. We're just driving by uh, Trocadero. And uh, that's where you can see the Eiffel Tower. Look at the crowd already in the morning. Um, and it was raining a little bit. Uh, not too bad, like just very light rain. So we went to one of the pharmacies that would give us a 24-hour turnaround. Um, and the hotel had recommended them and it wasn't too expensive. I can't remember how much it cost, but it was about the same as what we'd pay in Canada for a PCR test. 
And at this point in time, the requirement was to test within 72 hours of boarding. So we could have done it before, but we just decided to do it now. I thought I'd just share with you a little bit of the drive and you can see the beautiful buildings during the day because I did uh, share most of the driving footage from nighttime. So I thought it'd be nice. You can see the, the daytime. So we went to the pharmacy and um, I went inside and, and, and paid and then had the tests done. Um, I'm pretty used to having uh, like swabs up my nose <laughs> all the time. So, uh, but this time, I don't know, I think in France they do like an anterior swab. It's quite shallow. Uh, so I was a little bit concerned if they were doing it properly, but it was actually, I mean, it's accepted. So uh, we did that. And I mean, for us to fly into France as Canadians, we didn't have to do a PCR test. So luckily that was all clear. for me and a whole bunch of <laughs> baked goods <laughs> you can see a Lamborghini I don't know what's behind there but some supercars that are here people are ogling it um, back there I forgot to show you but there's a massive lineup outside of the Louis Vuitton store the flagship it's 11.30 right now. I guess if you want to go to some place like that, it's uh, you should get there at opening at 10. But we have no desire to, to go. <laughs> okay, another outfit this morning. Very similar to what I've always been wearing. Houndstooth mini wrap knit dress from and other stories with the slits. I paired it with some stockings because uh, it's actually not that cold today, but it's raining a little bit. But yesterday my legs were kind of cold, so I did have this as a layering piece. Combat boots, uh, green coat from Macage. Um, very straightforward and simple. This is the part of the vacation when you get kind of tired and you start wearing the same thing every day. So it's our last day here, and it's a little bit rainy, but it's okay. It's just kind of spitting. Um, sometimes the sidewalks are wet because a lot of the shops, they wash the sidewalks at in the morning um that's about it but temperature is quite pleasant it's not too cold it's like 13 degrees um i'm just heading to avenue montaigne um to just finalize something so and i'll tell you about it later
I saw the beige uh, lambskin rectangular mini. Uh, wasn't really a fan. The lambskin looked like it, I don't know. There's just something off about it that I didn't like. The the flap, the crookedness. Um, the lambskin just looked like it was. It just wasn't nice. I didn't like it myself, and um, but I tried it on anyway. And then uh, she brought out the denim square pearl crush mini. So I looked at that and uh, the woman that was sitting there, she kept ogling me, <laughs> waiting for me to reject it. Uh, and then I decided to look at some wallets on chain. Um, they had uh, lambskin, they had caviar, uh, made in France. And then I wanted to go take a look at some of the ready-to-wear. Actually, no. Um, my The sales associate uh, wanted to show me uh, some other items. And she was like, it's better we go upstairs because it's out of sight. And there were way too many people that kept like ogling everything that I was looking at. Um, every time I put my Houndstooth Mini down, people would come in and think that that was for sale. So she's like, well, I'm just going to take you upstairs. And then I can take a look at some ready-to-wear as well. Thank you. 
Ça va
So this is replicating the pearl necklace. That's so beautiful. So nice. I wouldn't want to fall on these stairs though. <laughs> you can get injured. <laughs> help but wonder is this the very designer that they based the fictional designer character from Emily in Paris Pied Cadeau so my husband got there before me he met me there and he already checked in, even though it was my appointment and he was able to check in. So I don't know. I feel like Emma's like, they're very, I don't know. I, I feel like they like they, they really cater to men. <laughs> but anyway, um, he wore his new shoes. Let's appreciate that he's not wearing Birkenstocks this time. Oh my god, I don't know where this chunk of footage went. It shows up black on my phone and on iMovie. I have no idea, like maybe my thumb was blocking the lens, but um, so I, I did like some really good filming, but I don't know where this chunk went. So I'm a bit disappointed, but I think um, you can see maybe the rest. There are handbags on display, quota bags on display um, that are gifted by the Hermes family and uh they're there only for display not for sale uh, and i caught more footage of them but i just i don't know what happened to this footage this is really disappointing but oh well um the rest of the time my hand is blocking the lens i was just very nervous about filming because i didn't want to get in trouble but i wanted to show you a little bit around So then I took a seat and then my husband texted me, oh, the sales associate came and got me and I already chatted with him. And I'm like, aren't I supposed to go and meet with this person? But anyway, um, I will cover the details of this appointment in another video, uh, but I'll just show you a little bit around and then we'll carry on with the rest of the vlog. Really nice. So, okay, so you are it. supposed to be? Hi, so I'm the lad. I escaped from the Hermes logo, and this is my diary with all the stories of this historical store, uh -huh. the French for war, which exists since 1880. And also, look, this is the Hermes family because Hermes is a family affair. So you have all the managers and the, the departments created throughout the years. Oh, wow. So, welcome and enjoy your time here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> So we decided to come to the area of Balmash, which is another department store. Can't remember what we wanted to check out, but I don't remember what we wanted to check out. But anyway, um, 
we went in there for a little bit or I think we are going in there for a little bit but we wanted to eat something because it was like four o'clock in the afternoon and we hadn't eaten anything so uh this place was pretty good um it wasn't as good as the other place that we went to but you know it was it was nice to start I didn't voice over what we ordered so I don't even remember what we did get but this is the food <laughs> 